Welcome to another video. Uh, in this video, we're going to look at uh, introducing the real number set. Now, we've been you've been looking at the real number set ever since you were learning about numbers, really. Uh, the real number set um, are all of our positive numbers, our negative numbers, our whole numbers, our fractions, our decimals, um, and then um, our irrational numbers, which we talked about the other day. There is another set of numbers called imaginary numbers that we're not going to worry about. But it's important that we understand the set of numbers that we're working with um, on an everyday basis. So within this real number set, we really have um, two different kinds of numbers. We have rational numbers, which if you remember we've been spending a lot of time with. We can write them as a fraction. Um, and we've been referring to that fraction as m over n, some uh, integer over another integer where n is not equal to 0. Um, we can also write them as decimals uh, that end or repeat. Now within uh, this set of rational numbers, we can be a little bit more specific. We can talk about the integers, which are positive and negative whole numbers. So these numbers are um, negative 20. Uh, negative 1, 0, 10, uh, positive 20. And so all of these are, are within a set um, that we call the integers. Now if we just look at the positive side of that, um, our whole numbers are 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and so on. Okay, those go on to infinity, but it's only the whole numbers. There's no fractions or decimals uh, within the whole number set. As we look at the big circle here of rational numbers, all of these, the integers are a more specific kind of rational number and whole numbers are a more specific kind of integer. So really you're getting, um, it's like a subset, a smaller part of the bigger set of rational numbers. Now if we look at um, our, the other part of the real numbers, it's our irrational numbers. We were introduced to those uh, the other day, and these numbers are the opposite of rational numbers. So you cannot write them as a fraction. Cannot write as a fraction. I'll just say m over n. Um, if you try to write them as decimals, um, they do not end, and they do not repeat. Uh, and so one of the most uh, famous ones of these is pi. Okay, we estimate it at about 3.14, but really it goes 1, 5, 9, and they're out to, I believe, 10 trillion digits now. And so it just keeps going. Uh, and then the other um, common one is the square root of 2. Now we what we have learned or what we have been taught is that irrational numbers of if they do not come out to be a perfect square um, perfect square being like the square root of 9 3 times 3 is 9 okay so the square root of 9 is 3 um, that is a rational number so if it doesn't come out to be a whole number as a square root or a cubed root or fourth root or fifth root then it is an irrational number so the square root of 3 the square root of 5, the cubed root of 11. Okay, that's asking what number when we multiply um, by itself three times will give us um, 11, and we don't have um, a number that we can think of that would do that. Okay, uh, so we have an infinite number of irrational numbers, and so if the only time that a square root will be a rational number is if, as I mentioned before, it comes out to be a whole number. So the square root of 100 is 10. Uh, the cubed root of 8, what number when we multiply it by itself three times? Well, 2 times 2 is 4 times 2 is 8. So the cubed root of 8 is 2. So the cubed root of 8, square root of 9, square root of 100, those are all rational numbers even though they are roots. Um, whereas the square root of 2, square root of 3, square root of 5, the cubed root of 11, so on and so forth, those are irrational numbers. So any 
square root that does not have a whole number solution is an irrational number. So as you start to go through your practice, if you're coming out with some decimal number as you take the square root or the cubed root, uh, then that is an irrational number. And your calculator will probably have to round it at some point. Um, so it looks like it ends, but it will continue on uh, forever. So go ahead and uh, look at the practice. If you have questions, bring those to class. Uh, we will we'll talk through that. Uh, thank you for watching.